Good morning, boys and girls. So good to see you here this morning. This is our first, first kids pre-recorded online kids church service. I'm so glad you decided to join us this morning. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can get updates on future kids church videos that will be coming out in these next weeks. Well, I've got a lot of friends here with me this morning. We're going to sing some songs together. We're going to play some games. We're going to learn some stuff, just like you do in Kids Church on Sunday mornings when you come here to the building. We love you so much. We're so glad to see you again. And uh, remember, if you need anything, uh, you can always call, have your parents text me, uh, or Facebook message me. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, and you'll definitely be hearing from me real soon. <laughs> That's still not close to getting me 
y'all round up. Do you think I should go any closer, boys and girls? I think they think so. a lot to be a Christian, Jesus is worth it. So every time somebody asks you, what's up, you tell them. Whatever it takes, Jesus is worth it. Serving Jesus can cost us a lot. Yes, that'll be $200. Oh man, that's all I got. No oh, man, I don't mean cost a lot like that. I mean, when we choose to follow Jesus, we got to love him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We got to give it all to him, baby. As Christians, we got to do whatever it takes to tell others about Jesus. We got to show the love of Jesus everywhere we go. It may cost us a lot, but Jesus is worth it. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. Whatever it takes, Jesus is worth it. And that right there is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, baby. Hey boys and girls, do you want to play a game? Let's play a game.
Will you pray with me today? Please bow your heads and close your eyes as we pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. God, thank you for every day that we've been able to be with you. Jesus, I pray that in this time we would keep our eyes on you. You would help us to have fun and understand all that you're teaching us, Lord. And I pray that you would be with us each and every day. In your name, amen. Hey there! What's up? Well, hey boys and girls, we're about to jump into our first kids' worship today. So I'm going to show you the hand movements really quick, okay? You guys should be a little familiar with them, okay? So first we're going to clap. Then we're going to get down, and we're going to spin our hands. Next we're going to get up, and we're, we're going to jump. We're going to dance. We're going to shout. And then we're going to turn in a circle and lift our hands toward the sky. Okay, then we're going to lift our hands, easy, then we're going to go to the left, we're going to go to the right, and that is it. Are you guys ready? Alright, here we go, let's jump into worship. Ready? Put your hands together. Yeah. 
What's up? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Price is High. I'm your host, Barker Bob, and on this game show, we give contestants the chance to give it all. On this game show, contestants will have the opportunity to give it all so that people around the world can know the love of Jesus. So let's meet today's contestant. Today's contestant is... Larnell Davis. Come on down to The Price is High. <laughs> Let me tell you what, Mr. Barker Bob, I am excited to be here. You got yourself a fancy little setup, I tell you what. It's almost like Christmas lights, just with poo, but in a much more organized fashion. <laughs> Smells good here too. All right, Larnell, congratulations, and welcome to The Price is High. Now, we got to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, tell me some things about yourself, where you're from, and what you do for a living. Well, my name's Laurel Davis. I'm from Brownsburg, Kentucky. That's just a little bit north of Purpleboro, Kentucky. And I work on my granddaddy's goat farm, keeping them goats in line. You know what, Mr. Barker Bob? Some people, when they hear me say that, they think keeping the goats in line. Well, that means you just keep the goats doing what they're supposed to be doing, right? Wrong. My granddad is real particular about his goat formations. He wants them in single file line. While one time he even tried to get his pigs to go in a marching band formation. I tell you what, a pig snout and a trumpet do not go together. It was a hoot. And I do mean a hoot. I mean them trumpets was going hoot, hoot, hoot. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's terrific, Larnell. Now, now tell us, do you have a wife and kids? Well, hot dog, I sure do. I'm married to the beautiful Miss Lula Bell Davis. We've been married three, going on ten years now, and we got some little critters as well. We got Big Will, Little Will, Jill, Hill, Phil, Sill, and Rhonda. Wait, what? Well, they just plumb out of ill names by the time I got to Rhonda. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, well, that's terrific. Well, it's time to get started with our first game of the show, which is That's Too Much. Well, habanero sunscreen. I just can't wait. All right, let's get started. On the screen, we are going to put a stack of 10 Bibles for people in South America. We are going to reveal the prices, and you have to tell us the first price you see that is too much. Are you ready? Shoo! <laughs> I sure am. All right, here we go. dollars $50, $75, $100, $150. <laughs> That's it, that's it. I know it only costs 100 buckaroos to buy 10 Bibles. So, 150? Shoo! That's too much. That's correct. These Bibles cost $10, which means $150 is too much. Well, I reckon I'd give $150 for 15 people to have Bibles in South America. Man, you can't put a price tag on telling people about Jesus. I love to give. In fact, as Christians, following Jesus is going to cost us everything. You're right, which means you are today's winner. You just won a brand new stack of Bibles to take to people in South America. All expenses unpaid for. All you have to do is write out the check. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Woo yeah! Well, Larnell, congratulations on winning today's prize. Well, butter, squash, and biscuit. I ain't never won nothing before. <laughs> My meemaw's gonna be so proud of me. You know what? I cannot wait to send a whole mess of Bibles to the kind folks of South America. They're gonna get to learn all about God and learn about His Son, Jesus, and all about heaven. Hey, do you think 
because I'm willing to give everything to get them Bibles, they're going to get saved and get to go to heaven? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a hoot and a half? Maybe even a third. That's right. The kids are going to learn all about that in their lesson today. But for now, thanks for tuning in to The Price is High. We'll see you next time when we tell another contestant about how Jesus is worth it. Bye-bye, TV people. <laughs>
Well, this has been Couponing with Courtney. I'll see you next time. Well, boys and girls, we've been having lots of fun together. And I just want to remind you, BGMC, Boys and Girls Missionary Challenge. You know, in times like this, when we're uh, at home a lot, uh, we're out of school, we're not coming to the church building like we normally do, sometimes we forget that we are still committed to certain things. And one of those things is generosity. God calls us to be generous. This whole last month and the month of March, we've been talking about generosity. We talked about generosity. We talked about giving to missions. We talked about uh, giving our tithe. Uh, we talked about giving offerings. Boys and girls, we have a goal this year of $3,000 for BGMC. And we also had a goal in the month of March to reach $300. Let's not forget about that goal. If you can remember, keep on filling your buddy barrels this month. I'm sure Buddy Barrow and all the missionaries around the world will be so excited to hear that you're continuing in your commitment uh, to give and to be generous. Thanks so much. Boys and girls, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you that you took part in our First Kids online service. I just want you to remember that whatever it takes, Jesus is worth it. Boys and girls, there are so many things that can distract us from that. And I just want you to remember to keep your focus on Jesus because he is worth it. Well, let's close with a word of prayer. And uh, uh, I will see you on Sunday at our next uh, online First Kids service. Father, thank you so much that you're here with us, that you never leave us and you never forsake. Thank you that you're at home with the kids right now. I just pray, Lord, as they've got television going and video games going and maybe a friend visiting, uh, maybe, Lord, they're just uh, stuck at home because school's not going right now. Lord, I just pray that you would remind them that whatever it takes, you're worth it, Lord. That whatever they're doing throughout the day, I pray that they remember how worthy you and that they would stop everything they're doing and just take time to be with you, just to talk to you, maybe sing a song to you, God. And I just pray, Lord, that uh, uh, you just fill them with your love, your joy, their peace, uh, your peace, God. And, and thank you so much again uh, for each one of these boys and girls. And I look forward to seeing them all very soon. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll talk to you later, boys and girls. He's the one who puts the moon in the sky. He's the one who